Hi everyone, so as you can tell I've just recorded this straight after the 24mm Sigma lens review because I'll say I'm in the same perspective, you can tell it's wide angle. Um, but I'm going to give you a little review of my flashes. Now as you can see there, they both look the same. Um, they both do the same, they've both, you know, the tilting heads and they both spin sideways and all that sort of stuff. And by front, they look exactly the same. However, they're not. Obviously by back they look the same as well. Apart from a few little words there, it says think light speed light rather than just speed light. However, the front says different. This is a Niwa. This is by Godox. No, obviously they are exactly the same. <laughs> They're the same flash. Now I bought the Godox one first and it was about £32 off eBay. It comes with a cold shoe adapter and it also came with an omnibus. Uh, an omnibus, an omnibounce um, diffusion cap, which obviously I use quite often because it does work and it's handy. Um, and then I bought the Niwa one then about a month ago because I felt the need to have two and that came the same with the cold shoe foot but didn't come with an omnibounce. And they both come in practically the same box except one says Niwa on it and one says Godox. Surprising there. Um, they've both got a PC connect port there and there and they've both got a, char uh, a charger so a battery pack supply um, connection too which obviously makes the recycling time a lot smaller. They've also both got on the front a diffusing panel and a bounce card which both slot into the top and they are very very good flashes. Now I've already rec I've recorded this video once already this is the second take of it because I've just finished doing this review and I've played it back and realized I hadn't turned my microphone on and it's like do let's do it again so at least this time now it's gonna be a lot smaller um, the review of them initially was like 20 minutes long which is ridiculous because it's only a flash at the end of the day so now I'm gonna make this a lot shorter I know what things I'm gonna say about it um, they both say QC pass which is quality control pass and these little stickers they are obviously done in the same factory, they are made the same, the buttons are the same, the interface, they're both fully manual, neither of them have um, TTL which is through the lens metering, neither of them can communicate with your camera other than to say yes, flash no please. Um, they're both obviously exactly the same, you can tell they're the same, just different brand on the front. Um, so there's no difference, if you can find a Niwa one, you buy a Niwa one, if you can find a Godox one, buy a Godox one, it makes no difference whatsoever. And they both obviously were around the 30 quid mark, which is dead cheap. Now in the Godox one, which is the first one I've got, um, I've only put one set of batteries in it. Now I've put Duracell batteries in this, four Duracell ones. And if you're in the UK, you'll know Duracell can be quite pricey. It could be about £3.50 for a pack of four. It takes four. That's £3.50 of flashing, which is a bit extortionate really. And in the newer one, I put some Kodak GB10 for a pound ones which should last about the same length of time. However, saying that I've never changed the batteries, on the last review I done of them, the batteries started dying. So there I set their power on. I might as well power this on as well. As you can see there, it's sat there waiting. Once the red lights come on underneath the power, it means they're ready for flashing. So this one here is ready. That's taken a bit longer, but obviously it has got cheaper batteries in it. Now with this power setting, which is the smallest setting, you can test fire until I don't know you're bored, I guess. Whereas with this one, maybe at medium power there, every time you test fire, you know, now has to recycle. And at the full power setting, it takes an age to recycle. Now, I suppose if it was connected to a power pack, it would recycle in about a second or so, but obviously they're not. They've got cheap batteries and decent batteries, but obviously they are batteries at the end of the day. Um, they both came with this cold shoe adapter inside their box and they also came with a velvet bag each which looks like this little drawstring bag and if you've seen my what's in my bag video you'll see that I use it as camera protection and because they have no communication with the camera at all I use these which are the um, cheapo I think like young no young new ripoffs radio receivers and transmitters I think they're 16 channel. So I use that on one of them on the manual mode and I use the other one on slave one mode. Now slave one mode is where the infrared receiver at the front picks up a flash and then 
uses that then to fire off its flash. So if this is a manual, it fires flash, that gets picked up by there and shoots that off in time. And obviously then you get your, um, you get both flashes going off at once with a very slight delay between the two. And Slave 2 mode is the second um, curtain sync, which lets you freeze motion. As I said, I've had this flash now for, I don't know, it's probably about three or four months, and this one's about a month and a half. And they're nice and strong and durable, and they're made fully out of plastic, except the hot shoe mount is metal, so it does communicate to the camera, so you don't always need to use um, a radio receiver or a, um, any form of receiver for that matter and transmitter, because obviously it communicates straight through there. And then when it's on the top of your camera, you can point it, which takes it down to full 90 degrees, or you can turn it sideways 90 degrees, or you can turn it left 180 degrees. Oh, there you are, full 180 degrees there. Look back and you saw it flashes off in the face. Um, it also has markings. I'll just focus on you now. It also has markings here as well, telling you what um, degree angle you're on. As you see, there, there's 75, 60, and 45 degree markings. Never really use it, I don't see any need to use it. But there you go, if you're into that sort of thing, you can use it. And it has also got the markings on the inside as well. You've got very slight, small markings inside. And on that side there, you have them as well. But yeah, that's that. Very strong, very durable. They work well. Recycling time is decent. On the smallest power, they recycle almost instantly. You can flash away until you're bored. And on the highest setting, it takes about four seconds to recycle, which is quite bad. But there you go. They're only a cheap flash. So if you're into flash photography or if you want to start getting into flash photography, I would strongly recommend you have a look at these flashes, the Godox or the Neva ones. Saves you buying a Canon one, which is going to cost you about £200 or £300, £400. They are full manual, like I said, but that's good because it lets you learn about light. So yeah, that's that. That's my little review. I hope you liked it, and I'll see you in my next video.